I love you, but it is hard to read with two dogs and my husband in the think, same room. How do you How do I deal with what I'm feeling? Maybe I just don't. I just don't. I love how I only read for like eight minutes. <laughs> I'm gonna do the reading challenge, that like 24 hour reading challenge, but I can't do 24 hours because I have a life and I have things to do. So I'm doing 12 hours, all right? So I have an 11 hour, 52 minute timer. <laughs> Honey, I've been reading Zodiac Academy for almost two weeks and I'm so tired of it. It's the first book and I don't like it. At least I don't like it right now. Like I'm 76% of the way through and I wanna finish it today. Like that's my goal. It's my first day off in a while. So I want to finish zodiac academy that's my goal and then i have another book what am i gonna i have it written down before we were strangers basically every time i start reading i'm just gonna hit the timer and once i'm done with the timer then i'm done who knows if i'm even gonna make it through the 12 hours i don't know how this challenge is gonna work i might even go into tomorrow it's not a like i'm not making this a huge deal because i have stuff to do today i have to go to the gym and then right after that i'm getting my nails done and then i'll be home so then after that i will continue reading <laughs> oh my there. god he looks uh -huh. huge <laughs> he's <laughs> compared to her oh my goodness you crazy. Oh, you start it? Okay, so I'm still literally in the same spot that I was in this morning. So I'm just going to hit resume. And I'm on page 324. The out question of... is, why has it not been DNF'd? Because I still like it enough to finish it. That's oh, the thing. It's on the line. I think 429 pages, and I'm on 324. So I got like 100 pages left. I bet I can finish it within the next hour ish. I'm in ruins all along. I'm all alone. I'm all alone. And I know nothing to do. Oh, it's clear. That's I good. I was expecting it to be blue, I know. Mmm, it smells good. Let's go to a restaurant. I finished. I love you, but it is hard to read with two dogs and my husband in the same room. A lot of interruptions, but yes. um, two stars. Oh, for sure. For, for sure. sure. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> so I finished Zodiac Academy, as you guys saw, and I, I gave it two stars, but... Mm, the <laughs> my friend Ashley just finished it the other day and I think she's on the second book now and I don't know if I want to start the second book but because she's saying that she likes it so much I want to but my only not my only problems I had a lot of problems with Zodiac Academy but one of my main ones was just how poorly the world building was set up it was just like they were in the mortal world for like three chapters and then they were thrown into this new world and they had immediate access to their powers like they have never been in the fey world yet they're the highest fey ever to have lived ever and they like don't know that and they like immediately got all their powers i don't know i did not love zodiac academy i don't know if i'll get the second one i probably will just maybe read it on kindle one day but i'm not in any rush to read it i got this one the other day in a book shopping vlog that i did the other day but i also really want to read this one so i think i'm gonna read i can't decide i think i'm gonna read before we were strangers i think that's what i'm kind of feeling right now and i don't know what it's about and i kind of like going blind into books so my timer again i literally <laughs> it's 2 20 and i'm only two hours into my timer i'm gonna go read and then we're back. doby and honey can y'all calm down please 
Dobie and Honey are fighting in the background, so they're gonna be making, Dobie's a really loud play dog. But let me show you the timer for, I don't know what the last time I showed you guys was, but it's seven, seven hours and 40 minutes left. So I'm pausing it now. I am like 110 pages into this book. I love it. I will say I've had to stop, pause, put down the book a few times and like pause the timer for like one to two minutes. Does that make sense? Like I'm, I'm getting reading done, but I'm also like trying to do things. And right now I have to go cook dinner. Um, so I'm going to go make some dinner. I'm making potatoes and I think we're just going to have chicken. Yeah, I am definitely not staying up that late. So I'll probably just have time for like two more hours tonight and then I can read some more tomorrow. I will 100% finish this tomorrow or maybe I'll get through it tonight. I probably could get through it tonight, but I don't know what the, the next book of this video is going to be. I only plan to read one honestly planning to read one book for 12 hours is kind of stupid because like this is a really short book <laughs> it is second chance it's about matt and grace i'm loving matt's perspective so we got matt's perspective for the first 70 pages of the book which i really liked i liked having the male perspective first that rarely happens in romance books he's just such a sweet such a sweet guy like very um understanding and caring and like means really well he sees this girl on a train and he's like oh my god that's grace he and grace dated their senior year of college and then something happened so it's giving me like every summer after love and other words kind of vibe loving it it's set in new york too which i think is a very nice take on a second chance because every most second chance romances are like lake house like <laughs> that's like three of them Final Offer, Love in Other Words, and Every Somewhere After are all set at lake houses. This is still gives me that feeling, but in a city, and I really like that. Grace, on the other hand, I'm not loving her perspective. She's not very experienced um, sexually, and she's letting that determine like her relationship with Matt. She's like, oh, he won't like me at all because I'm not experienced experienced enough and matt like when you see his side he's like so obsessed with her and like in a really sweet way like he's just uh infatuated with her and i it's so cute in his perspective and then she's like oh he definitely doesn't like me and i'm like girl stop talking down on yourself definitely loves you um and i don't know where honey went so i need to go find her she's probably getting into something so i will be back later with another update Set up your dinner one too many times before Ended up staring in the bathroom and then crying on the bedroom floor Baby, you can It's the next day. Um, last night I took a screenshot of it. At 10.30 I went to bed and that was my timer last night. Five hours and 20 minutes left, okay? And I haven't read since 10.30 p.m. last night. I went grocery shopping and I must have like held my phone a certain way and my timer went away. So I'm just gonna add five hours. We're starting a new one. And, oh wait, I'm gonna pause it because I'm not gonna start reading yet. I'm gonna go get in different clothes and then start reading. But I did wanna tell you, I'm almost done with it. And I don't remember what happened in the last chapter. Um, they have rekindled, so we, we are in the current present we're in the present day now with them and this might be one of my favorite second chance romance books I've ever read like compared to the other ones I've already mentioned just a baby okay the timer won't show but it says five hours and 19 minutes so I'm gonna go read Okay, let me show you the timer. I'm not gonna lie, this timer thing is hard because look, I still have four hours to go. And like, I finished Before We Were Strangers and this is probably my top second chance romance book. Very real, I don't know. You know when you read a book to escape? This is not an escapism book. Like this book is very much like it could happen. It seems like a real scenario that probably has happened many times before and it's just sad. Um, there is a happy ending. 
heartwarming scenario like I did tear up I was downstairs with Brock but it was a tearjerker for sure adored it Matt Matt is my new oh, he's just so sweet he's my new like archer from archer's voice like he's just he's not that innocent but like he's very very sweet wants the best for everyone he knows and is just so kind and what he went through and what his ex-wife did and what grace had to go through because of that scenario made me very upset i was debating giving it between four and a half and five stars ended up going with five it's march 11th and i've only read three books and for my pacing that's pretty slow like i usually am at book like six or seven by now so i'm done with so i'm done with three books i think i'm gonna start the second book of finley donovan i just don't know because look Finley Donovan on Libby okay so like and I like to listen to books while I drive I've mentioned that a million times so I just I think I'm just gonna keep this as like a listening for now I kind of just want to maybe hold off I'll start it this week probably but I don't want to start it right now I kind of want to pick another book so I'm gonna look at my TBR shelf okay, okay so what if what if I just read these two because they've been on my tbr forever i've been saying i need to read them and i feel like i could get at least one and a half done today like they're both 200 pages long like they're really really short like tiny little books i think this would go really well like right here next to waking olivia because it's still it gave me that same like ouch this hurt my heart kind of feeling <laughs> So I kind of want to put it next to Waking Olivia and like Every Summer After is right there. I'm going to put this right here probably. Actually, how tall is it? Oh no. I'm going to put it right here. Actually, look how similar those covers look like the, the font. Okay, anyway. five minutes left on this timer it is 7 15 now listen <laughs> i'm almost done i'm just gonna finish it tonight and probably in the next 20 30 minutes like i only have like 40 ch pages left it should go by pretty quick but i just want to say these books if you're looking for smut there's a lot of smut in these and it is reverse harem but one thing that I'm obsessed with about this series is how well done the plot is despite how short it is and despite how much smut there is. So there's a lot of smut and it's really short, but I'm surprised at how much I like the plot. The plot is not hidden. The plot is not smothered by too much smut. Like it is just the perfect amount of both. I'm getting kind of tired of the smut, honestly. Every once in a while, I'm like, okay, come on. I'm, I'm okay. I kind of want to get to the plot. Like, I'm really enjoying the plot. And I feel like these could be longer. It's an easy, like, two-hour, three-hour read. I like having these on months like this where I'm kind of not in a slump. It's just I'm having a hard time finishing books. This kind of just knocks one off my, my goal. I'm going to go upstairs again at 7.15 and Brock and I go to bed around 8.00. So I'm probably going to just read until I finish it, but there's not much more that I have to say. I thought this vlog was really fun. I don't know if this time in my life I could do any more than 12 hours. Like 12 hours took basically 48 hours because I took two days. I did Friday and today's Saturday. So it's like I did 12 hours when I could. Like when I could read when I could. Like I think that's a good amount of reading and especially for this week I haven't been able to read a lot so I like this this goal honey has the zoomies I liked this goal and I'm glad that I got some reading done so I think it's very successful and it has a very good success rate but I don't know how often I'll be able to actually do this and I like the idea of the 24 hour timer like challenge but that is not in the cards for me right now now if YouTube became full time one day for sure for sure I'll do a 24 hour reading vlog but I don't think that's in the cards for me right now but yeah so what did I end up reading I finished Zodiac Academy. I finished Before We Were Strangers and I'm gonna finish The Dark One. So I, I would count that as a really successful two days of reading. So, or 12 hours in two days. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching and supporting me. All of my social media and all of my links are linked down below. I hope you stick around for the next video. Subscribe if you want and like this video to support me. I will see you later.